Dr. Heron. Um, I am pleased to share some of the methods that Title I is using to achieve equity through engagement um, with you all tonight. Um, everything that I'm going to share with you is above and beyond the work of the regular classroom teachers um, and the reading specialists as well. Title I schools receive additional funding and provide extra support services in early literacy at the kindergarten through third grade range to help close achievement gaps. Today's highlights on Title I include who we serve, a review of newly added Title I services that are grounded in effective research-based practice through the use of leveled literacy intervention systems and successful start intervention in kindergarten. I will close with a short featured story and a summary of the highlights about our offerings in Title I. So who does Title I serve? In WJCC, seven of the nine elementary schools receive Title I funding. Once a school qualifies for Title I funding, all students in grades kindergarten through second with academic need are eligible for services. Title I schools include Clara Bird Baker, J. Blaine Blayton, Rawls Bird, James River, DJ Montague, Norge, and Matthew Whaley. And newly added this year, we are expanding to include support for grade three in this second semester. You may wonder why Title I has implemented new approaches in WJCC. Historically, WJCC has focused the use of funding in first grade only. But with increases in funding over time, we were able to expand our services to include kindergarten, second, and third grades. As an example of funding um, levels, back in 2003, when WJCC was at 17% free and reduced lunch, um, for economically disadvantaged students, we receive just under $900,000. Currently, we have 33% free and reduced lunch need. Due to the increase in that need this year, Title I was awarded just over $1.4 million for supplemental academic services. And all of these funds are used to provide additional services and instructional opportunities above those given in the regular classroom. Thus, the added support we provide is now reflected in the two new approaches I'm going to share with you tonight. I'd like to start by showing you a brief clip of what leveled literacy intervention looks like in action. what happens, all right? Remember, you're looking for those parts to help you when you're reading, okay? Can we say worked? No, 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 yeah, sorry. we can. That's okay. Okay, we can use those endings with that word, can't we? Okay. We're gonna use the word, let's say start. 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 It's not part that you know, star. Do you know where that has that sound in it? R. Playing every morning. Yeah, it does. There you go. I like the way you work that out. Take a step. I hear you saying it. Say, er, say more. Uh, that part's er. Er. Early one. Spring morning one. You notice something good, go back. The, Start here. Does the 
All right. So what you have just seen um, are teachers using the new instructional routines through the leveled literacy intervention system. A whole host of new tutors and teachers were trained last spring along with other Title I teachers. This training helps teachers and tutors develop their teaching of reading skills to get students actively engaged with a set of high quality leveled text for accelerated learning opportunities. We piloted leveled literacy intervention in the spring of 2016, and in just two short months, we had 190 students out of 312, or 61 percent, um, were on grade level by the end of the year. This year, we are fully implemented um, from kindergarten through second grade, and we expect greater outcomes with offering it for the full year. Additionally, we are expanding to grade three this semester. Again, these services are in addition to the regular reading <coughs> instruction in the classroom. Six, uh, similarly to the leveled literacy intervention system, Successful Start also uses small groups of three students for lessons that consist of reading to children, reading with children, and writing with children in kindergarten. In this model, professional development is the key to successful start as kindergarten teachers are trained alongside Title I staff to ensure continuous support and best practice in reading instruction. DJ Montague and J. Blaine Blayton are in their initial year of successful start. These two schools were identified through a needs assessment process that featured the level of openness and readiness for change in overall literacy practice. As part of the training, kindergarten teachers started literacy instruction um, from the very beginning of the school year and report amazing progress by students, with current levels trending for students at a level that is normally expected at the end of year already, at this time of year. This will expand equitable performance levels for more students from the early years, leaving other services in Title I <coughs> to address more intense needs for some students that need it. In addition to noticeable outcomes, parents and student responses are positive. Here is an example of a note from a mother of a five-year-old in a kindergarten classroom who wanted to add his mark on his mother's note. The note states, thank you, Mrs. Reams. I'm so thrilled with Trent's progress in reading. I had to give him extra praise for reading his book like he talks. It helped that we have a Yorkie, too. P.S. He wanted to write you a note like me and used what you taught him for figuring out words. He discovered how to spell book because it rhymes with look. An awesome, teachable moment. Trent added, thank you, Mrs. Reams. I like this book. This is just one example of the great opportunity of our kindergartners experiencing through the additional Title I opportunity this year. So as we come to a close tonight, it is helpful to highlight how our WJCC Title I services align nicely with what research says about key factors in success. Both of these approaches you heard about tonight, along with our ongoing use of reading recovery, a one-to-one -one method of instruction, matches readers to uh, the right level of text. It increases the volume of reading to provide massive amounts of experience and opportunities, offers small group instruction, coordinates with regular classroom teachers, teaches students to think about text, and helps provide training for expert instruction. The last component on having expert teachers is very important because Title I, for the first time, is doing more to coordinate training and services that students benefit from alignment between the classroom instruction and supplemental services to accelerate the learning and truly close achievement gaps in the early grades. We look forward to updating you on the outcomes in the future. So thank you. Thank you very much.